Yeah, um, first of all, before I state the next theorem, I uh, will do some observations on elementary matrices. So, you see, this type of elementary um, matrices, according to the replacement cooperation, so you actually, uh, you add a, a, a multiple of uh, um, row 4 to row 2, right? So that uh, the, this is the, the matrix. And when you consider the, the transports of uh, this elementary matrix, uh, the transport is just that uh, the, the row becomes the columns. So, um, so you see that this is an, an, a triangular matrix, right? And after the transport, we get the, the lower triangular matrix, so it's still a triangular matrix. And so you can see that um, the determinant of uh, actually you can see this is actually the alpha. Okay? So, so actually, so you can see this is one and this is the determinant. But the point is that So the so the the, the determinant these two matrices at the same uh, determinants. Now second um, say um, two
and the same determinants as the original and mentory matrix. So this gives us um, so we have the lemma. So first of all, we have the lemma that the so elementary elementary matrices we have the IJ alpha transform equal to E to I okay. and uh, S I beta transpose is equal to S I beta and the P I transpose so this is in general. Uh, even though I take example for for five times five matrices, but this is general for any um, size thing. Any questions? All right. So now I have a theorem. We know that uh, if A or if A is any elementary matrix, then the theorem is true. So this is our basic fact, right? We you know some information about that. And uh, so the theorem is just a, a, a generalized result for any n times n matrix. We know that A does not that A is invertible if and only if A transpose is invertible. Do you have any question about this statement?
reduced to a mission form of A is identity. And uh, there exists a sequence of elementary matrices in one. Yeah. 
So the basic idea is that when A is invertible, then A can be expressed as product of elementary matrices. That's the point. And then by using the product formula um, and also the property of elementary matrices listed here, then we can prove. To improve the quality of these two determinants. We use the same strategy for many times. Any questions? Because that uh, we state if we change two rows, we will change the sum of the mean value of the result of matrix. Now we can change two columns. Once we, we change to change two columns, then again the same value will change the sign. 
Right. There are a lot of versions, right? Because there's just some examples. You can instead a lot of things. Right. Um, but, but this is the, the basic thing, right? Because that um, once you have a linearity on the first column, you have a, you have a swapping property for, for any two columns. Then you have every single column. Because we defect the properties of determining the function on rows by assuming three axes. The first action is that the determinants of the identity function, identity matrix one. The second is that um, the determinant function uh, is linear on the first row. The third axiom is that the determinant function will change sign when we exchange two rows. Right? So that then we have everything. So, um, so, for example, when getting a column of A and a scalar alpha, then the determinant. And, and, and now this part is 
n minus one times n minus one matrix here. Okay, so any questions about my notation here? So I use an n minus one times n minus one matrix to construct an n times n matrix. Now, then, with this construction, then the determinant of A, the determinant of A, right, is equal to the determinant of A. So whenever we look to encounter such a special kind of n times n matrix, right? the dimension is n times n. Then the, to, to find the determinant of A is the same as find the determinant of M, but the size of M is smaller. So, so that we can we can multiply m with n times m minus one times m minus one in matrix matrices. Okay. Any question? We we have done this a lot of time, right? Then, Uh, 
of elementary no operation.
So with with a sequence of m minus one times n minus one a matrix matrix, you can turn uh, the matrix M into a reduced low echelon form. U here. And uh, we can apply the associated uh, n times n elementary matrices. They are elementary matrices, of course. Okay. And prime uh, on A here, we find uh, this, this one. Any questions? Idea, right? When you multiply these two together, right, you get this one. And then you multiply this one with that. So after the multiplication, you get one zero, one zero is one, so you get one. And, and then one zero, zero, E one M is got a zero, so the row is zero. And uh, zero, E two, one by one, zero, is got a zero column. And the final thing is E two times E one. So you can do that iteratively, right? Iteratively, and after you multiply to the last one, the metric gets this. Okay. So the whole thing, and, and this one is just equal. And let me show you. U, U is just is obtained by applying uh, this sequence of elementary matrix. Okay, so 
So now, again, case one, case one, that the, um, M is invertible, uh, is not invertible. Then, A is also not invertible. Or um, maybe I maybe I have stand up again. Not that A is invertible. You can only M is invertible. So now determinants of EK, determinants Yeah. Because U is identity. Yeah. And my 
minus one times n minus one identity itself. So that's uh, and by using the formula, this one. And similarly, the determinant.
The first of all, this is the S row, and this is the um, S row. Right. So this is the matrix, and then we delete <coughs> the I column and the J row. We delete, we remove all the entries. the i row and the just column of an n times the matrix, we obtain an m minus 1 times m minus 1 matrix. m plus m i j a.
Can we take an example? We shall fast forward to <coughs> say A equals to uh, A11, A12, A13. So consider a 3 by 3 matrix. Right. And now, not like it. the first row of A is A11, A12, A13. And this first row can be expressed as a linear combination of the standard rows. Okay, is that one? So this is can be written as E one plus E two. A13 determinant. Plus A13 determinant. One, A13 
So I reduce, and I know the formula, right? Because we prove for two by two matrix, but we know the formula. So actually, I just just give you an idea how an A determinant of A can be the determinant of A can be can be computed by using the determinant of their of its minus. Okay. And for computational purposes, we, we, we know how to do it here. Okay, so if we, we go in this way up to here, actually we know this is A11, and, and we know what is that. Um, okay. so, so if we go further, this is minus 1, A11, and uh, this is um, A11 is A22, 3, 3, 3. Minus a two three a three two. Okay. So this is this is this is sum and the minus a one two a one two. So it's a two one a three three minus a two three a three one. Okay. Plus a one three. Here is a two one, a three two, and a two two, a three one. And you have the explaining formula. And this is exactly the explaining formula for three by three matrix, the uh, determinants of the three by three matrices. You learned in high school. So it's neat. You got the express form of here in pen. So now the determinant function for three by three is unique, right? But because I give you the form of here. So it's unique. <laughs> okay? So now it's by induction. By induction, right? <clears throat> I can give you the unique formula for any n by n matrices. Because with three by three, now I can by using this this kind of strategy, right? I can turn the determinant of a four by four matrix into <clears throat> this in, into a linear combination of the determinant of three by three matrices, and any three by three matrix. Can have a formula here, unique formula, so I can have a unique formula for product form and etc. So basically I prove, right, by computation, <laughs> I, can, I can give you a formal proof with the same procedure. But this is not my point right now. I can do that later on. So I just give you that why <clears throat> the determinant function is unique. Because I can compute it directly. For a general, you can see I start with a general three by three matrix, and I found you the formula. All right. So this is important, but the most important thing is this formula, because the, the induction is based on such kind of formula. Okay. So we can we, we use minus, right, to compute the determinants. So that is the the, the we have the theoretical advantage. So, so, the, so this, this example is very important. It's giving you the idea um, what I will do uh, next okay, uh, on Friday. On Friday. Okay. And uh, so uh, I will check family spread. After family spread, we will check the case. Okay.